Hey everyone, um, today I'm gonna, hopefully that light doesn't bother you too much, I'll try that, okay. Um, yesterday, I got a bit of a story, so yesterday I was about to feed, I was putting a bale in, I put one bale in and then I figured I'll be nice and I'll get rid of my second cut, my small second cut, uh, I have a couple small bales that were just the ends of fields, so I just kind of put them in and wrapped them up and got them off the field. But the second cut was all green. It was all nice and fancy looking, all horse quality. But um, I figured I'd add that to the pile because it's getting near the end of the year and I want them to kind of get my heifers to add weight. And the problem is, is the feeder is not enough for all of them. So they kind of fight and the heifers don't get enough weight or enough feed to add weight. So I put it in the old broken feeder too. Um, funny enough, this morning when I got there, the old empty feeder is fully empty because it was green hay and they didn't touch the other one but here nor there that's what happens they all they figure out which one's better and they eat it but there was one little heifer my last year's little heifer i don't know if i showed you guys um the smaller one with horns she was sitting off by herself so i got out of the tractor took a walk over and i uh, look on the back end of her and i see feet i was like oh crap I didn't know that she was bred earlier than the bigger one. She's small for a, for, for a calf. I'm not excited about it. So I tried getting close to her and uh, last night I gave her some straw and my uncle said, leave her be till tomorrow and we'll take a look at her and see if we can get it out. So waking up this morning, I got up hoping to get going at this and she was gone. I don't have a lot of fences here. Um, it's not by choice. It's uh, basically, I, I do not have the option currently to put up fences. That's why, if you notice, I am not getting any of the wood cleared out of my forest, or out of my forest, or out of uh, my front hayfield. There is a specific reason for that. Um, I haven't talked to you guys about it, but a little later on in life, I will mention it again um, on the real reasons why I haven't touched any of that. It's not because I don't want to do it. Man, I wish I would have had fencing today, because... We went to go look at her and she darted off and uh, they were gone. My whole, what I would call my um, my pasture that leads to my barnyard, the major one there, the fencing's all done on it. So I can't lock them into that so that I can herd them into my barnyard. So what ends up happening is, is the second they see change or people, because they think they're getting loaded, they dart off and I can't get to them. So it becomes difficult for me to bring anyone in to come take a look at something because I can't really lock them up or uh, latch them. So, but that's what we're working on. She looks like it's a little farther out. I can at least see a little farther out. I just want to be able to yank it out, but we'll see how it goes. Um, this is a learning process for me um, because when we were delivering calves, we haven't had an issue in a very long time. And this would be when my grandpa was around. And the last time we were delivering calves, we were inside a barn. And that was in the dairy herd. So that was a long time ago. And that was a long time before I could remember or write things down, take notes, anything. I remember him doing it. But I don't know the finite points of how they did it. So I tried getting my uncle over here to take a look at it. And the second they recognized the vehicle, because my uncle helps us load, they were gone. And uh, that's where we're at now. So I'm going to see if I can get some photos of her or some film of her and uh, show you guys where we're at. I'm just making breakfast here and I'll take you guys along. So I am in the loader tractor right now and uh, on a much sadder note, but uh, I was talking about that heifer that got bred too young. Um, I couldn't get her inside and then I ended up having to try and calve her out outside in the field. I wasn't big enough, I had to get three guys, plus the come along, plus a freaking tractor for weight to pull from the come along to get the calf out. Then I thought the heifer was fine, she looked fine last night. I got the vet in and gave her tetracine or tetracycle or antibiotic or something and vitamins, thinking that it was gonna help. And uh, I came here this morning and they were both gone, which is awfully depressing, but part of the game part of part of uh farming she was bred too young i know that i didn't expect it i just looked out when i was working on the barnyard i'll show you in the next video thinking she started bawling and i knew it she was laying down and bawling and it needed to come out now and uh i did all i could and i you try your best to try and do the best thing for them and 
sometimes they just don't work out. So, yeah, that's the way it goes. It's the old saying, if you got livestock, you got dead stock. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I know it's part of the game. I don't show the animal because I think that's really morbid. I don't want to show that. You guys can picture that and put that in your own minds if you really want it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's part of it. I got some of the barnyard. I'll show you guys in the next video what I got done there.